Belle Lynn, glad you're well. Um, so I'm going to be playing today. It's a bit out of focus, isn't it? Is it a bit out of focus? I'm not sure. It's okay. It's okay. I think it's just the light's really bright. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be playing today with a complete range of products that I've literally grabbed from what I've got here. Um, my first inspiration was some new product arrived yesterday. I'll show you my new my new ink pads that arrived yesterday. So I had a stock up. Some of these are ones I didn't have already and some of these are ones that are running out and running dry. And if you know I'm doing my, um, my Distress Oxide series over on YouTube, I need to make sure I've definitely got all the colours. I'm glad you at least washed. <laughs> I said I washed my hair. Nothing about the body. Um, yeah, another Lynn. Hello. Hi, Lynn Hudson. How are you? Oh, Carla, what, do you know what, Sam? It's not good enough. Carla's not going to be at the later live. I, th I think, you know, call in sick, Carla. <laughs> and another one, Lynn Harrison. How are you all? It's so weird. Oh, we got... And you all spell your Lynn. You spell all your names the same as well, don't you? So these uh, arrived yesterday. I've got another three arriving today, just stocking up so that when I do my videos for YouTube, hi, Maz. Um, they are not all dried up ink pads. So I'm restocking and a few of them are new to me and ripe. <clears throat> you can see the ones that are new to me and I'm surprised Mermaid Lagoon is new to me because to be honest, it's actually like, it's a perfect color for me. It's a blue, it's a bit of teal, I love it. So you can see reds are never my favorite, reds and oranges, but I've stocked up on those two. <clears throat> Excuse me, clearing my throat today. Ripe persimmon, persimmon. I want to make sure I say that right. Right, persimmon. Love this colour on screen. I didn't realise it was as orangey coral as that. I thought it was a bit of a red. So straight away, got that out. Had a little, a little splodge of it. Love it. And it reminded me of a card that I've seen. Now, this is a card that has been made by lovely Tracy Evans. Um, if you haven't seen her cards yet already, good morning, Deborah. How are you? First time watching. Yay! I'm very excited to have you here. Thank you. Um, so Tracy Evans, go and find her on Pinterest, on Instagram, anywhere you can. Her cards are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So um, this colour, when it came, reminded me of a card that Tracy did using All and Create stamps. Um, and I kind of wanted, just from memory, I haven't gone back and looked at the card again, but just from memory, I want to try and recreate a card similar because I love the style. So you can do that. It's not copying it's being inspired by and anyone who puts their cards their craft projects online should expect to be um should expect them to be inspiration so um yeah so that's what i'm doing today i'm using that card um and what i've also done so because i've got limited supplies here at the moment um you all know the story um, well actually who deborah probably doesn't know the story she hasn't heard um, I'm in at home at the moment in a little sort of makeshift studio at home, a table in the garage. Um, so I don't have everything here. Eventually, I'm going to be ma making this the craft stash studio as such once the rest of the house is renovated. Um, but at the moment, I've only got limited things here. So at the minute, I've got my two new collections, which was In the Stars and Floral Folk Art. And I've got a few little other bits. And one thing I found was one of the only one of the only items left over from the bookshop collection is the layered heart die set. So I've pulled that out. Um, so I might use that. And it's a compliment when someone recreates the art. Exactly, exactly. So and I will tag Tracy when I put a photo up of it later. I will tag her. And this I saw. Have you seen this? Okay, it's a digital stamp but I'm going to use it on my card because you can all do this. You can print these up at home. They're on Craft Stash website. Um, they are, not, I think this was 99p. And of course I can print it out. I've actually made it 40% size, I think, before I printed it. And you can make it as big or small as you want. So I thought I'm going to use this, but then I'm going to use some other texture stuff in with it as well. So I'll come to that in a little while. Let's look at this color first of all though. So I've got a DL card base. Uh, and this is as much planning as I've done, really. Um, good morning, Sally. How are you? Are you good? So I've got a DL card base and I've got a... Oh, do you know what? I was meant to make that a little bit bigger. So I've got a panel of cardstock that I am going to trim down so that it's um, smaller, so it's got a border around the edge. But I tend to like to make them a bit bigger. 
Now before I go on to that, I'm going to use some of these stamps and create a background. Some of these, now these are a bit dirty so you can see where I'm stamping. Oh, do you know what? Let's not do these. Let's do the Constellation stamp. So from In the Stars that launched last week, I've got the Constellation stamp. And I think what I might do is stamp it there, say there. But I'm going to mask off. So I'm being really careful with my I'm not touching my laptop at all today, if I can, because I don't want to jog the connection that's got the internet plugged into it. It's loose. I need to get another adapter, I think. Um, it just, for some reason, it happened. I was doing a live in the creating, no, sorry, crafting together with all brands group. Um, but unfortunately it cut out right near the end. So I'm going to keep everything. Let's go. Yeah, let's go to the left. So I'm looking at the diamond in the middle. I don't, you can't see that because the ring light's on it. There we go. So we've got a diamond. So what I'm going to do is try to um, mask that off. Now, where's my tape? This is me, all very prepared, look. <laughs> so I'm going to use low-tack tape. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know when it twists on itself. Who have we got here? I'm glad you're well. Hello, Rosalind. How are you? Loving your jumper. Oh, it's snuggly. I'm really into um, my baggy jumpers lately. Baggy jumper and striped jumpers. I've got about 8 billion striped jumpers. Don't worry about being late, Rosalind. As long as I'm not late, that's the main thing. You can still catch up later. I haven't done much except chat. Still waiting on your new collection. It's been a lot of slow deliveries from Craft Stash. I think they've had a lot of deliveries to work, uh, a lot of orders to work through. Lynn, I'm afraid. I've seen a few other people saying that they're waiting on things. I'm sure they won't be much longer. But yeah, I think the warehouse are extremely busy. I think they've got a few people off sick as well. Um, if if you're a VIP, you should be getting them earlier or, or as soon as possible. And they really are prioritised. So they are getting to them ASAP as soon as they can. Right, so I've masked off those areas. I better do these corners as well otherwise I will ink on those <clears throat> now this is not going to be the most exciting five minutes because I'm going to be doing clear embossing ink onto white cardstock and then white powder never mind we'll get there so ink all this I must remember as well to remove the tape before I stamp I've done that before it's completely forgotten there we go and if I make if I do sort of mask like this sometimes not always but sometimes you can kind of hold the tape together when you remove it and then you can use it again depends how much you've overlapped it really let's just take this off like so such a waste of low tack tape if I was not doing this with you watching I'd probably carefully remove each one and put it cut it up and put it on my machine there we go Take. Uh, it's stuck to me. Someone said that yesterday about staff being off. Is crafters? Oh, crafters don't. No, we don't have patience. That's why we're VIPs, and that's why we want the priority dispatch because we don't have the patience to wait for things. Unfortunately, you have to have. <laughs> Good evening, Marie. How are you? Marie's clearly not in the UK because she said evening. It's all about the reveal. Yeah, it will get there. And when I put this colour over the top, hopefully that reveal will be amazing. Now, I do have quite a dirty ink pad, so you might even be able to actually see that. I think you probably can. So, oh no, you know what I've done? I've put my, um, all my embossing powders and everything away. This again, I'm going to have to get up. I'm going to have to actually get off my bum. Take the blanket off my legs. It's cold in here. When are we going to get sort of summer weather? Because without a heater in here, I am needing it. Right, there we go. Hello, other Lynn. Another Lynn. <laughs> right, now I got, I need to, um, so I'm going through, I got my ink pads yesterday. I've got some more coming. I also got a little parcel here of gems, which I'll show you a bit later because they are gorgeous. Now I need white embossing powder. 
Better put that down there because I'm probably going to need that again. So sprinkle, sprinkle. B Elizabeth, is anyone having trouble watching the live? Mine keeps stalling, popped out and back in, but it's still happening. Hopefully not. I'm ho hopefully, well, not hopefully, but it might just be your connection. Anyone else having any issues? Tape's cheap enough to throw away after use. Do you know what? If you get the, the creative one, Carla, the creative craft products tape where you get, I think it's 4 99 you get three rolls of tape. Ridiculous price. So what I'm also going to do here is I have in this little bottle, I have some PVA glue, just wet glue, craft slash glue, whatever it may be, mixed with water, 50-50. I'm just going to do some splats. So taking the nozzle off. And this is going to hopefully also hold on to the embossing powder to, to create some texture in the background. So this will then be a resist. Come on, you're a little tube. And I would like a little bit more from you, please. Talking to craft supplies. Uh, it's beautiful in Scotland, is it? Lovely. I'd like to go to Scotland. No, all good for you. Uh, sunny in Sheffield. Connection's fine here at the moment. Brilliant. There we go. So that's just going to give us some, hopefully, some white, white dots. So let's put powder over those two. I use my card blank to capture my powder. You can actually, if you're quick, you can do that with water as well but I like to add a little bit of glue to it just in case the water starts dry before I get my powder on. There we go. Right, let's get that set. Do, 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 do. I'm in quite a good mood today. I've been in a really good mood all week actually and I think that's to do with sort of crafting and creating because I've been in my studio a lot more lately since, it's been, since I've set up, got this set up at home. Oh, I'm trying not to move my connection. This wire is touching it. If for any reason, by the way, everyone, I do lose this live because of that damn connection. Um, excuse my language. I'll go. I'll just go directly live onto my page. Okay. So let's get this all set, and then we can get some colour on here. So right. P persimmon. I would never think that that would be a colour that I'd like. I just thought it's an orange. I'm not a big orange fan. Look how bright that is. That's ridiculous. You'll see it in a moment when I get colour on there because the white makes it glare on the screen. Who did I see? Kayla, hello from Liverpool. How are you? It's working okay on Lynn's phone. It's only scary when the craft supplies aren't seen. <laughs> yes, it is. Thankfully, that's never happened. My husband was talking to the shower head yesterday, so I'm not the only one that talks to with everyday objects. I sing to them as well. The thing is, when you work on your own all day, I say on my own, physically on my own, virtually I have lots of people online, but um, Sam will know, we, we do have to talk to ourselves. She probably talks to Monty. I can't have my dogs in here because they will bark. I've got the garage doors open, so the older one will be trying to get out. He's already tried to get out this morning. You. Hang on, I'm good. Thank you. Love this craft stuff. Good. Are you talking to yourself now, Sam? Why, why are you talking to yourself? What are you saying? Be interesting to know, I think. Hang on a minute, there we go. Orange is a great colour. This orange is beautiful. It's almost got a hint of pink in it, which I never would have expected by seeing it online. So I'm really excited to see how it goes on. So what I'm doing first is I'm doing my resists first, or my resist first, with the white. So you kind of have to work from the back upwards. Let's find a blending that. I've got a piece of acetate here. Shall we get this now? Do I want to do it? Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do it completely or... No. Do you know what? 
I'm not sure if I want to ink this completely solidly or if I want to do sort of a watercolour technique. Hi Sharon, how are you? <laughs> you talk to yourself all the time. Oh, she's fighting with glue. Sounds fighting with glue. So what I'm going to do is do the watercolour sort of smooch technique. And if I don't like it, I can still go back over. Let's see. <clears throat> Just to help blend. This cardstock isn't great with uh, lots and lots of water. It kind of bobbles and stuff. Where I get it all really messy. Right, let's get the bits that are still white. I'm going to get mucky fingers. Really mucky fingers. Now, if you do... Oh, yeah, I like that. I do like that. Right, wet wipe. I had a wet wipe a minute ago. Where did I put it? There it was. So, I'm going to leave that on my mat. Let's give this a dry. That colour is beautiful. Really, really bright. And I actually quite, I'm quite glad I did it. I'll take that off from there because there's some blobs that aren't going to dry very quickly. I'm quite glad I did it as the smooching rather than solid blend. Because festive berries was going, <laughs> was going to do, I haven't got a brush for this one yet. I've got new brushes coming, but there might be a day or two still. So ripe persimmon hasn't got a brush yet. Got a label ready for it. I'm actually working on everybody. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, I've got a question. Uh, you make it look so easy. It is easy. It is easy, Gemma. Just uh, practice, I suppose. And don't worry about making a mistake because you really can't make a mistake. Thank you, Marie. So, Sheena Sarah Cannon, is it safe to blend oxides onto card on your glass mat the same as ink? Yes. Does it clean off okay with the wet wipe? Yeah, this is oxide. This is the same, absolutely. All wipes off, it's all water reactive. And I actually prefer doing the oxides and the inks. So, very nice colour. Hello, Tracy, how are you? Are you all good? It's not too early for anyone, is it? I've sort of, sort of shifted to 10 a.m. lives just so I can get on with other things during the day. Then if we have a craft stash live like we do today, if we do have a craft stash live, then it's not sort of pushing time. There we go. Hang on, let's bring, let's bring. There we go. Is that better? You can see that colour through. Yeah, I like that. Now I've saved that because I thought I might go in because sometimes if you've not got lots of variation I've got plenty there but if you've not got a lot of variation you might want to go back in again and do some more and dry it again as another layer it will deepen the color um, but I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to wipe that off there you go see was it Sheena was asking oh wipes off got a bit of color stain this is because it's not a blending mat it's actually a piece of acetate a bit naughty but right now let's see let's now bring in these stamps and put some of these on in black so i th think i'm going to i'm going to stamp with black soot because it's not as black black it's not as black black as black do i want to bring that out no i'm going to leave that for now Got a fracture clinic later, see how the fractures on your feet are going. Oh, sounds nasty, Tracy. Hopefully you're not in too much pain. Viv, enjoying the early times just after 7 p.m. for me. Oh, okay, so any later in the day gets too late, does it? Um, so what must it are you in Australia or New Zealand, Viv? That direction. Hi Nova, how are you? Just joining. We'll have to dip in and out, getting ready for a holiday. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Where are you going? Are you going somewhere lovely? I'm sure you are. And people say that, don't they? Are you going anywhere nice? And I think, you're not going to be going somewhere not nice. <laughs> That's quite big. Kind of probably want to work with the smaller stamps here. I think I might just do one at a time, perhaps. So now I'm going to go black onto this background. So we'll have the white, we'll have the black. Well, I say black, it's grey, it's black soot. go and let's put another one that magnet's in the way let's put another one down in this corner and there we go 
I actually quite like the second impression stamping there. I think I might do that. Let's do a bit of second impression stamping there and see, see how it looks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that. I don't think I'll get any more from it. I think I might have to re-ink it. Oh, there is a slight, there is a slight bit there. Let's see, just a little bit, just ever so lightly. No, it is, come on, one more. Oh, there we go. I've got something under there. And let's just see if I can get a little bit of second impression in there as well. These leaves are lovely. I can just stamp with these all day long. Um, then what else have I got in here in this set? I've got the word believe. Hmm. Do you know what I want? I don't know that I've got either. I want some text. I want to just do, I can't do that. So let's get this stamp. This is the constellation stamp that I used there. So I can't do any text, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of a pattern with this instead. There we go. So just pressing it down. Can you see that? Now I have an issue where I go so mad on my cards sometimes that they end up looking messy. And I need to stop doing that, stop overdoing it. Anyone else do that? Uh, Carly Duff used to call them, she probably still does, pizza cards. There we go, just a bit of texture in the background. Where you throw everything at it so it's a pizza card. Love Master, Master Chef. Okay, I've missed something here. I need to um, look back. Let me see, Sharon, it's 6.50, yeah. 6.50, where are we? Hang on, 6.50 here, it's good, but in 40 minutes you have to go watch MasterChef. 6.50 p.m., so whereabouts are you, Sharon? I probably ask you this every time. You're late, not okay. <laughs> and you love, love MasterChef. My friend won MasterChef last year, year before. Tom, or Thomas, he was Thomas on there. He won MasterChef, very good. Lovely bloke, he was a TV presenter. Uh, not presenter, producer. And I didn't know, all the time I knew him as a producer, I didn't know that he could cook. Apparently so. Right, so just to frame this before I start putting embellishments over the top, I'll better cut it down to match my card, actually. So white frame around the edge. It's not as deep a colour as the card that I was inspired by. So if you're just joining me, uh, I received some um, Distress Oxides yesterday, some new ones, lots of new colours, and this was one of them, ripe persimmon. And I wanted to just have a play with that. And the colour came and it reminded me of a card that I'd seen that I loved from uh, by Tracy Evans. And it was with All and Create Stamps. So I didn't look back at the card because I think sometimes it can be too easy then to really copy isn't the right word but you take too much from it so instead I'm just going by memory I know it was a lovely orange card a bright orange card with lots of black and white excuse the cars going past so I'm sort of recreating that with this gorgeous color it's not as bright as the color that um, Tracy used that was more of a sort of crackling campfire almost a red the one she used Right, now I've cut that down to size, so I've got a little bit of a border. I'm now going to ink around the edges. I need my black soot ink, ink thingamajiggy. Black soot, there we go. I'm so looking forward to having a studio here with all my brushes in the frames on the walls, the way I store them in the studio. I can't wait for that. So just brushing. Going on to the acetate first, working little little circles, and just blending then into 
the edges and the corn more in the corners and a little bit along the edges. There we go. Almost there. I'm not going to do that heart. I've changed my mind. The texture's heart. I might use a little bit from it. The bit of string or something, but the heart's going to be too big and it's going to be it's going to sort of take over. So that's just framed that. I tend to do that a lot with any ink blending and such now. I didn't mention, I started talking about and I didn't finish. I am working on uh, a free download for everybody. It's SVG and I will do a paper template for it as well um, to make some distress ink storage. So if you've not got storage at the moment or if your current storage you've run out and you need some more. But you know, sometimes I find distress storage or ink pad storage is... Uh, say you've got 30 slots but they're always so high and so wide and it might be that that doesn't slot in so I'm working on some storage for you and that'll be free to download on my website as soon as it's up I'll let everybody know I might do a live about it tomorrow uh, next week uh, we need a special offer on oxide inks Lou to go with your new videos did you say yesterday did you see yesterday Carla on craft stash there was I think it was yesterday, there was an offer, three for £18, so they're usually six ninety nine, something like that. <laughs> there are 72 ink colours, so I apologise. You may have a lot that you want to, um, that you want to get. So, this is my little birdie. This is, um, this is the image that I printed off of Craft Stash. Now, what I'm going to do, oh, okay, I'll do that in a bit. I forgot something. What I'm going to do is bring some pens in. 0 0.8. I've got all sorts of pens here. Oh, that's a really thin one. So just black pens. And I'm going to colour in between the lines. So in the gaps here in a black. So I want this to look almost as if it's been printed white onto black. Because of course you can't do that in your printers at home but I want to make it darker. So I'm going to colour in the gaps here. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing very well because my pen, I have to hold my pen completely upright. And I do hold my pen at a funny angle. Lots of people will have noticed that from when I used to do brush lettering. Oh, I've got my legs crossed and my legs go dead. Anyone get that? <laughs> you need inks badly, but money's a problem right now. Been going a bit too mad lately. I oh, know, we have to pace ourselves, don't we? Sounds fab. Ink storage would be great, Lou. Looking forward to that. It was very... <laughs> you did see the offer. I was too busy buying Sam's new collection. Sam. She's a pain, isn't she? So Sam and I will be live um, at 12.30. So I'm going to do a mad dash from here. It's not a mad dash, really. It's about 40 minutes, so it's not that mad. From here to the studio that we do those lives from. Straight after this which is another, like I say, part of the reason that I go live at this time of day. So I'm trying where I've got black areas that I'm, I'm colouring up against. I'm trying to leave a bit of a white line so it doesn't get too swamped. So here, around the bird's head, for example, I'm not the beak, that's okay, but I'm just going to leave the smallest gap of a line. I'm, I'm kind of quiet because I'm concentrating and then I can colour this out a bit and I'm going to cut around this image so I'm just colouring out a few millimetres away from the image. I could have done this in advance but I literally printed this off five minutes before I went live because I had to get it first. There's some amazing digital downloads, digital stamps on craft stash I've not even seen a lot of them before and they are really beautiful so go check them out 99p this image was and once you've got it stored on your computer you can print it off as many times as you like Lou is there any chance someone has an ultra fine embossing pen to go over the digital stamp so you can water colour over I can't find one as printed digital Yes, so I not not an embossing stamp, but what about a quickie glue pen? Because that will hold your embossing powder, and you don't have to hurry with that. You can, I was going to do that with this, 
it's really I apologize it's really not very let me just see if I can get the I know it's just got a bit bigger I'm just going to see if I can get the focus on this autofocus there actually I think it's Facebook because it's focused absolutely fine here yes yeah, so quickie glue pen um, I would say it's probably the best one because that's quite fine it's just a rollable pen you can go over that this is going to take me a while I apologize and then yeah go over the images with that and you can do your clear embossing over the top or you can I mean you can then emboss in another color and you can ink over the top you know that sort of thing right I've been around the bird's head I think that's the heart that was going to be the hardest bit you don't mind watching colouring, do you? Even if it's black? <laughs> Not the most exciting, is it? Do this in advance, Lou. Get it. Get the boring bits done. I found it on Lou Collins' website. Not very good at adding links. Yes, yeah, so go to www. Oh, kicking things. www.loucollinscrafts.com, and uh, it's in the download section there. I'm not sure what you're looking for. But somebody said, have you got a link for that? Um, let me just see. Hang on. Love your videos on the Distress. Oh, the Distress Oxides are on YouTube. The videos are on YouTube. If you go on YouTube, again, um, Lou Collins Crafts on YouTube. You can watch all of those. And then if you go onto my website, I've got the downloads. So... Both of them are Lou Collins Crafts. So you've got YouTube and you've got the website, so it's then .com. And you'll find the... You see where I've got the labels on each of my pads? You've got a print-off for that in both black and colour. Then you've got um, a print-off for the colour chart as well, so you can see which ink colours you still need and which ones you've got in inks, oxides, and that sort of thing. Um, what else is on there? Oh, well, you can put the same stickers, the same labels on your handles too. So, yeah, there's lots lots on there. And I am getting around to updating it more. I've been going on a mad Pinterest update lately. That takes a while, doing it on my phone. But I sit and do it in the mornings. It's quite therapeutic. So the tail here is black. And because I want I want the black outline. So, I want, like I say, I want it to look like it's white embossed onto black rather than the other way around. So around the tail, I'm just leaving a slight white border before I color in. I think if I used a bigger pen, although it'd be quicker, wouldn't be as neat and wouldn't be as accurate. Right, I found it. We'll take a look, okay. You love digital, hang on, it's therapeutic watching me color. Can you see the difference though, the black here? This hopefully won't be as fiddly around here, so it'll be a bit quicker. The bird was the hardest bit. I always start with the hardest bit because otherwise I get bored and if I look and see I've still got that hard bit to do, I might give up. So always do the, the slower, harder bit of any project first. The hard, Actually, these bits are quite big, so I might be able to go round with a much bigger pen. Make this quicker. So this is a Tombow. I was using, what was I using, Stedler pigment ink liner, it's just a black fine liner that I had, that's going to be quicker isn't it, and once I've, once I've fussy cut this out, then hopefully I won't have any, any white edges, but if I do it'll be really easy, do you know what, I haven't even looked to see, oh there's a car pulled up outside, oh thank you Viv, Thank you for popping that on there. Definitely makes it pop. Yeah, it looks more like white on black than black on white then. And it just means that you can get even more use out of your digital stamps. So for a 99p stamp, I can use this loads. You can also use them as a template. So you could put acetate over the top, heat resistant acetate over the top. You could use your quickie glue pen to trace over the image and then use heat embossing powder and then place that onto absolutely any colour you want because it, like a lot of people, my printer doesn't print on card. 
I have to print onto paper so I then have to find ways of making that paper sort of work. Just make sure there's a little bit in here. There we go, on the body, nearly there. I say nearly there like I've got three seconds left. <laughs> feel very accomplished hope it works <laughs> yeah it does it's got the link it's got the thumbnail there the link we found it well done Viv <laughs> it's nice so you know how to do that now so yeah so there's um now these are actually this is a template that I decided to create a while ago for craft world I'm talking like a couple of years ago because everyone was saying they don't know what colors they've already got and things like that so I created it for craft world um, but I found actually it wasn't used that much on craft world but my viewers as such so my audience wanted to use it more weren't members of craft world so you had to be a member to use it so after a while when it came to updating it I updated it and I added it because I put all the work in anyway so I added it to my website and it is updated with the latest color was lost shadow so it's updated with that and it's got sort of lum lumberjack plaid and all of the all of the most recent colours are on there ready for you. Oh that was much quicker finishing off those bolder bits with the bigger pen. There we go. Let's get this cut out now. I think these ones will be okay. Now I'm going to be reasonably neat about cutting this out but I'm not worried too much because I have now gone round with the black. So the idea is I want the black to show to a point. And I really want the black contrast against that bright background that we've created. Now, if I was, if I had a lot more time and patience, I'd probably go over the actual lines of the image with that black pen as well because it's... It's printed off more of a grey, kind of. It's printed off in black, but obviously my printering isn't amazing. So when you're fussy cutting, the best tip that anyone's ever told me, and I've heard other people say this, is rather than moving your... Don't move your scissors, but move the paper. So I'm keeping my scissors facing forward, and I move the paper around. <clears throat> and it is always much easier to excuse me to not choke on myself um it's easier to cut the image down much smaller and then go around the finer details afterwards rather than trying to get perfect cut the first time round. so give it a quick snip round so that you're working with a much smaller piece and bits like this then won't be getting in your way is that on cardstock it's just printer paper just print paper that's all if you want to strengthen something like this up um you do you know what i might do it for you actually um once your pen ink has dry and everything go over it with clear embossing powder makes it look like a proper embellishment then i think i will do that for you just to show you because it just yeah makes it a bit stronger if it's going onto a card that you're giving away it's just going to feel like a better quality embellishment over the top. There we go. You see how different that is now. Now if I bring in, I printed it off the first time a bit too small, so I've got a smaller version, but this is just the white on black and then that's, it now looks like, sorry, that's the black on white. You see the difference by going around the edges. So just did that um let me see yes please yeah okay so i think that's pretty much dry i just find my clear embossing powder that's opaque bright white i don't want that one that's black um clear gloss so just stamp over everything obviously test this out because i can't speak for the pens that you'll be using so just test this out first with, I don't know, a scrap of paper and your pen and then the, what, the clearing over the top to make sure that it's not going to bleed or smudge or anything. You should be okay once it's dry because 
as soon as your powder sets nothing is going to budge now I've lost my tweezers which is really frustrating because I've always been really careful about keeping them in one particular place and now I can't find them oh did I put them in there or do I have another pair in there no I didn't ignore that where what have I done with my tweezers anybody it's really annoying okay so just bend bend in that bit of cardstock I don't know what that white bit of cardstock is there now like I say this is heat resistant acetate and it's just one sheet out of a whole pack um, that I happen to have out on my desk and it's been really helpful because it's heat resistant I can heat on it I can ink blend on it and all sorts so let's just use this I'm just going to put that down in the middle and melt this powder wow looks amazing good idea doing the black so much better isn't it yeah you need permanent ink um so much better with the black on the all the way around and it makes me want to use all of those digital digital stamps or digi stamps 99p for this image it you may as well just have a stamp you know it you can use it in so many ways you can take your pens into it as well if you do this do your clear embossing you can then take your alcohol pens onto it or you could use your pencils beforehand but if you do your clear embossing first then use alcohol pens because that way it won't um it won't affect your printer ink there we go so that's now a shiny image it's a little bit damp but oh do you know what's happened it's picked up some of the orange if i put it against where was it against there oh no it's not it's translucent do you know what that's really cool i hadn't noticed that before it's translucent it's got a slight translucency to it but how cool does that look now compared to if i'd just cut that that out looks good doesn't it happy with that right now something i was going to do um i don't have a foam mat but what i do have where is it oh here it is on the reverse of my stamping platform i've got foam and i've got this this is from i think it was from the brand dreamies a long time ago i actually demonstrated a few uh products for them on tv um when they were short they couldn't get to the studios and it's a paper piercer it just does a stick uh, can you see that it just does a stitched line I just like to do this around the edge and then if you want to I mean I love using my sewing machine on the edges of cards if I've got time but I don't have my sewing machine here with me it's another thing that will be set out once I get my studio I'll have a table for my sewing machine my scan and cut uh my die cutting machines will be on my desk so that's just added a bit of detail to the edge <clears throat> put that back in there because that is dangerous it's very sharp uh you've just piqued my interest in digi stamps <laughs> yeah look good don't they and that like i say because i've embossed that weirdly and i don't know if that will dry i don't think it will but it's got i wish you could see that it's got the orange is peeking through I'm wondering do you know what I'm gonna try something <laughs> it's completely going off piste where's that I'm going to try also embossing the other side now two reasons I'm wondering whether this will also make this part a little bit um, translucent this side but also to help it flatten because if you treat paper the same both sides then it won't curl and this is curling so let's just do this exactly the same as I did a minute ago so yeah letting that soak in letting that ink soak into the paper it's only copy paper let it soak in for just a moment and that's I really like that effect there we go well, I'll have to do a tutorial on that, won't I, for YouTube, because there'll be other people who won't, won't have catched the live who'll be interested. I know what you mean. 
can see the yeah you can see the orange can you i wasn't sure if you could see it from where you are so let's heat this side as well let's go on to a black bit there this side's not going to look amazing as it's heated it's just like i say a strengthening the piece of paper even more seeing whether i can get any more translucency out of that paper and lastly stopping it from warping and bending it's the same with watercolor so if you watercolor on a piece of cardstock or paper and it's bending and warping if you spritz the other side with water it should all even out because the fibers on both sides are treated the same have sort of expanded and gone the same direction there we go okay just give that a second to cool keep it flat while it cools as well do you know what it's probably just melted oh it has oh yeah that's something i didn't think about it melted only a little bit okay so let's see might be a little it might actually be a little more translucent you can see the orange in the flower can't you isn't that cool yeah really like that really like that okay should we get this this card put together because it's 10 to 11 need lessons in sizing digital images i've wasted a few downloads bought from crafts because i've got them printing too big uh nova i do it actually in my yeah i was thinking about that linda glue i actually do it in my printer settings so when i send it to print i have options there for how to resize um i don't know whether you have that within yours right so let's think about this glue so we need a glue that's going to dry clear don't we and what i'm going to do is just put some glue with a fine tip applicator on the black areas i say it'll all dry clear anyway but i was thinking that as well actually who was it was it lynn mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah lynn all right about the glue that's what i was thinking about a few dots around the stamen won't hurt so use the image elements in the image to your advantage to uh, that's all going to be over the edge of the card i think there And with embossing powder, if you do have any issues with, you've put a fingerprint in it before it's dried or anything like that, that'll hurt as well. Um, you can remelt it and flatten it out. Right, so just hold that down for a moment. Give that a minute to adhere because it is sticking to a surface that's not, what's the word, porous, this side. But I think that's got it. Yeah, and you can, so you can see the texture in there. I'll, oh, I'm not holding it up to the camera. You can see the texture, there we go, hopefully, in there. I see the orange come through. Really pleased with that so far. Right, let's get some foam on here this stuck down you can see the um the detail on the back from the pin dots i can't think there's actually quite a few images there's floral images there's images with birds as well nova if you've got any massive problems with that do, if you do you know how to screenshot or let me know what system you use for printing i mean the trouble is every printer is different but i just set it to portrait rather than landscape if you've got these options and then just remembered i need a bit of foam in the middle and then uh there's a, a scale now often they are fit it's scaled something like fit to page if you go to custom or percentage and change that like i say this has changed all the way down to 40 percent of the size of the actual image go and of course it's a little bit different because I, I i got one of the team at craft stash to send this to me so i didn't actually download it um lou could you even flip this side yeah 
Yeah, you could flip it. Absolutely, you could have you could have two birds facing each other, or do it the other side. It's the beauty of digital stamps, isn't it? Okay, so so far we've got the white emboss in the background, and we've got the white splatters. That's just that gluey water. But you can do it with water if you're quick with your embossing. But I prefer to add a little bit of glue to the water just so that it doesn't dry as quick and it's a bit sticky tacky. Then we've got the white emboss where I masked off that diamond from the In the Stars Constellations stamp. Uh, then we've got the leaves also from In the Stars in the background with some, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, second impression stamping here. And then we've got that digital stamp over the top. The stitching and the inking on the edges. Just trying to rerun through if anyone's just joining us what we've done. It's a be definitely a beautiful stamp, isn't it? Okay, so um, now this isn't going to look right, I don't think. I'm going to double check, but I don't think I don't think the this is going to work at all. Oh see, I want to I want to put things in there. I don't really belong in there because that's going to ruin it no too much too much loose stop it stop it okay so let's just do energy sun believe a dream let's just do a sense destiny dream do do dream i love that word i love the font of it as well destiny tiny <laughs> tiny dreamer um how am I going? Do you know what? I'm going to do that in bright white. Big white bit of cast cardstock. Make it really stand out because we've lost the white that was in the stamp there that I expected there to be, and I want that contrast still. I know we've got the black, but let's add some more white in. So we've gone with black, and white, and grey. Maybe a hard haberdashery shop for what? Need that? Oh, I can't read that. I, I wonder, that, would a haberdashery shop do it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Fabulous word, that is also on your list. <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts in there. Look, new plate. I just cut, did my second cut into a new plate. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? Right, let's pop this out. I'm going to put this on foam as well. Yeah, I think definitely the white. Um, white, no, they're foam pads. There you are. And cut this from the craft stash foam. But it's not craft stash foam, sorry, it's creative craft products foam. Ooh, I'm getting towards the end of an hour. I better hurry up. I've got another live to get on with. Fabulous word, though. Uh, Fab cards are different. Hi, Monica. How are you? Been loving all the cards that Monica's been sharing with the um, the textures in the Stars collection. Lately, they're beautiful. Ink blending's lovely. Oh, did I go backwards? I did. I double cut this one, and I didn't mean to. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. I might be able to get away with it. So I keep it in the background when I cut foam. Try and keep it within there. This is where I need my tweezers. What have I done with those? Oh, do you know what? Something dropped down earlier this morning right behind my desk. I reckon it was those. Thinking about it now. There we go. Press the word into there. And you notice I've actually popped out the middle bits as well already. And then... Just popping this out. Be careful because some of the areas of this word die are very slim. Get rid of that. And I've got a few wispy bits, but do you know what? Have I got any cotton? Yes, I have. Here you go. This is going to help disguise. So, oh, I'm sorry, I knocked the camera. Apologies. I sound surprised I've actually got a basic crafting 
embellishment in there. So cotton, long bit. I'm just going to put it into my hand and I'm just going to rub. You see how that's just... There we go. I'm not going to glue that down. I'll just put that on there. And place the word dream over the top. I've removed, because I double cut the foam by accident. Foam, you should never run forwards and backwards. I did it out of habit because I wasn't concentrating. Um, stick that down. That's going to hold the string down and that's going to hide any of those little double cut lines. Dream. Dream, 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 dream. And I said about another little bag of goodies that I received yesterday. Here we go. Do you want to have a look at these? So these are pearls and gems. I get them from little things from Lucy's cards. Okay, so a little shout out to them because they're lovely. Um, I actually don't remember ordering these ones, but I must have done, unless they're a little additional. They haven't got a sticker on. They might have just been a little additional extra they put in. So these look pretty boring because of the colours, but I've got my iridescent bubbles, which, I mean, my last pack is down to about 10 in there. So I've got another pack of those. I've got the black stargazing crystals. There's all different black ones in. There's also clear and iridescent ones in there as well, but you've got um gems pearls crystals all sorts then i've got vanilla kiss which is you've got some golds in there and some pearls again sequins gems pearls and then th oh and then these ones oh i think i might have to use these today i was going to use black i think i might have to use these they're little little hearts i'll use those and then like i say so these are pearls flat back pearls in heart shapes white enamel sort of ones and like I say, these ones, I think these must have been a little gift because I don't remember ordering those. They're all different coloured ones. So I've got a thing for thingies and pearls, but I need to find a nice container for them. So let's just add a few of these around. They're so cute. So, so cute. I need my pick-up pencil. Where would that be? There it is. So one, two... Okay, um, do a big, hopefully it won't be too big. They're quite bold, these. Um, in there, I haven't got any, oh, have I got tiny ones? Oh, there are, there's really tiny ones. I'm going to move that one. I'm going to put a tiny one there. Hopefully that will stick and put that one there. The tiny ones are super cute. It's ridiculous. And the beauty of these, I, the reason I get white is not only because I love white on my... Is that glue? No, that's not glue. That's one of my embossed... Now where's my... I put glue up here somewhere, didn't I? And I've lost it. Um, you can use your alcohol pens to colour these. I put another glue dot around here. I'm sure I did. And I can't find it now. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Right, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Do we need one anywhere else? No, I think that's enough. I think I can overdo it. Just pop the lid back on here. There we go. So, we've had an hour. We've had a play. We've discovered that uh, digital stamps go translucent when you clear emboss them. Not had that happen before, but then I've usually done it on cardstock, so on copy paper. There we go. Near the top of the flower. What was that around here? Love how the flower looks. Oh, hi, Gillian. Don't worry. I'm now finishing up, but you can go back and watch. Yeah, try that, try that technique with the embossing powder. But yeah, there we go. So that's a different card using the right persimmon. Persimmon, sorry, I always want to say persimmon. Isn't that home? Aren't they homes? Persimmon homes, something like that. Um, middle the glue. Middle the glue, Sheena. I'm sure I'll find, I'll find some. Um, thank you all so much for joining me. 
I'm going to put a photo of this up on social media and what I'll also do is I'll tag Tracy Evans so you can go and follow her if you love her stuff. Like I say, she's on Pinterest. Um, I think she does classes on YouTube, so sort of paid for classes, but you can still find her there as well. Well worth a look. She does beautiful cards with All and Create. She designed for All and Create, but that was what inspired me to do sort of this composition and the colours, more the colours than anything, uh, using that ripe persimmon. So I uh, hope you have a lovely day, everybody. I will see you, or you'll actually see my face in uh, an hour and a half over on the Craft Stash page. Now we have sold out, thank you, the glue, I don't, I don't know now, I've lost it. It's probably dried now. Um, we have sold out some of the items of the new Made to Surprise Glitz and Glam that we were doing the live on, but Sam's got a lot of other things that she can show you. Other items that if you love that collection will go with it if you purchased it, purchased it already but if you did miss out other things that you can be um, making to get the look so we've got lots for you anyway on the craft stash live so I'll see you then all right take care everybody and thank you for joining me I'll see you again next Wednesday bye bye <laughs>